Peter Simeno and Alberto will present together the presentation. Okay, welcome. Thank you so much. My name is Javier Chimeno, and uh, uh, I work in CTE in Precise Department, and we are here as a sponsor of this uh, this event. We have uh, just a few minutes in, in, in which we want to introduce our company and make a brief description of our products in uh, virtualization technology. First, we are going to give a little overview of our company, and later we will give uh, some details and descriptions about what we consider the situation of CT and LP. And finally, my colleague will explain what is our product in the industry for virtualization that we, we call CT Elastinet. CT is a Chinese company that was founded in 1985. And now, today, we are committed to provide and spread the technology all over the world. Also, we have in our access, the three main access for our company is to respect the employees and try to give all of them a professional career in telecommunications. Uh, CT is also a company that is in the stock market. So we have to compromise with our shareholders, and we expect to give to them some optimal returns. What is our vision and our corporate mission? Our vision is to, to become a distinct global leader in mobile ICT era. So actually, we want to be distinguished to be a global uh, vendor for technology. And we expect also to deliver our technology and products all over the world based on the mother, also be green, take care about the environment, and try to make projects uh, all over the world uh, based on the uh, excellent and quality standards that we have in the industry. We are located in more than one, 160 countries, and we have uh, 107 global branches. The people that we work in CT is around uh, 60,000 people. In Spain, we have one uh, global office. It's a cell office that is located in Madrid with around uh, 200 people. In, in, this, in this office, also we have the MTO office that works for Telefonica, and also we have our branch for devices and smartphones. Uh, in Bilbao, here, we're near here, we have another uh, company that is in charge to provide the managed services for the south of Europe. Our company also is, the organ organization is based on the different product lines. We have a various uh, broad catalog of products that uh, range from the terminals to the wireless, wireless, office access, core network, peer cloud IT, and so on. So uh, even maybe we are not very popular in Spain, uh, we can say that uh, uh, we have many technology already in the world in the every operator we are very well known now in, in, in Spain for the FTTH service, for example, and also we have many, many products for the call network. Also, uh, we are also well known in the LT technology and radio access. CT participates and contributes in the standards. It's a member of the ETSI and 3GPP, and also we, we work also in the standardization uh, groups like OPNFV on OpenStack. We, our main contribution in this, in this uh, group is just to make proposals, to adapt the releases, and to put the these releases into the technology. What is the situation on, of NFV technology according to CT? Here we have a map, we can say it's just a map, and we can see very clearly three parts on this map of network elements or uh, technology. One in the left part, we could have access. You can see here the 4G, 2G, 3G, Wi-Fi, wi -Fi, also FTTH and DSL. In the lower part, we can see some routing or transmission network technologies. And also in that part, we can see some network elements for the call network, for IMS, for APC. It's not a real diagram, because the important point here in this, in this slide is uh, really have an idea of what is the telecom situation right now, and what could virtualization technology, what could be done for example, we could virtualize all the network from the access to the internet in the near uh, in technology very near to SDN. Also, we could virtualize uh, different network elements 
in the industry now that, uh, that are part of a co network is near to NFP. And I think uh, also that maybe could be interesting for you, not only the network elements, not only the routing elements, also some access elements are ready to be virtualized. The value and strategy for introducing NFP into the telecom network, I think everybody knows. Uh, you, you, as a sponsor, we have to give this kind of information to all of you. It's clear that CapEx OpEx is going to be reduced. Also, the revenue that we can get for our operation, uh, even as a vendor, as an operator, is going to increase. And we can create a new ecosystem based not only in the operator is going to select this vendor, this vendor, this vendor, or this technology for to, to deploy the network, but it's going to be something like, okay, I want to base my network in this hardware, and apart from that, I'm going to buy the application on the virtualization layer that I really want. Who is going to be, who is going to receive this kind of uh, values and a strategy? They will say, okay, welcome with that. I think in the market, uh, operators, also small operators and virtual operators, here we have in Spanish markets so much of them, that can get advantage of these uh, values and strategies. In this slide, we want to show to you, even if it's not very clear, you can see in, in that part that the green is the number of elements that are ready in the market to, to be virtualized. CTE is in the rank number two in terms of how many products, how many network elements, how many routing elements could be virtualized. Uh, I can tell you, and I'm going to do also in the next slides, that we have already in the market, well, white, uh, five commercial contracts in which we deploy our uh, virtualization technology to main operators and 16 proof of content projects. You can see here in this presentation, which are main, main, uh, uh, main operators that are our customers. I'm going to introduce to you, very briefly, very shortly, four examples of projects that we have already in the industry, already in the market, some of them are already in commercial, some of them are still in proof of concept. One of them is the deployment of, uh, of um, full virtualized um, packet core, packet network core that we have in, a, in an operator called Bimpel, Bimpelcom in the Vietnam, I think it's in Vietnam. So this is one of the projects that are already in commercial. All the access to G, 3G that goes, goes to the uh, packet core, unified packet core, packet core. This packet core has been virtualized and now is running and up, 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 up and running. Also, we have cooperation with Parafon from uh, uh, 2014. Uh, uh, yes, from 2014, when we established the, uh, a project to make a roadmap to test the network elements that uh, are in APC and are in IMC. Our solution is virtual APC, virtual IMS. What kind of product? Everything. Not only the signaling ones that are in the APC or IMS, also uh, the ones that are, are in charge of, uh, of the data pane. And two collaborations within China. Okay, China, of course, it is a Chinese company. There, we have a lot of opportunities to make uh, uh, tests, to make proofs, and also to establish ecosystem, in this case, with HP. HP could be the provider for, for uh, the hardware itself, and the, all the elements for uh, the virtualized layer and application layer will be provided by CTE. This is the case that the, the, the project that we have with China Unicom, and the difference maybe with uh, the next one, that is China Mobile, is in this project, in China Telecom, the NFV director is provided also by HP while the orchestrator in the, in the China Mobile is provided by, by SP as well. So this is the reference I want to, to give to you. And uh, uh, as a summary, as an idea that I would like to transmit is that the market is ready. The project now are some of them, few, few of them in commercial, but we have so many proof of concept, concept to collaborate with the operators and the main hardware providers. Okay, I'm going to give the word to my colleague to explain the product in CTE for virtualization. Thank you. Okay, I'm Alberto Burbindo. I'm a workmate from Francisco in the pre-sales 
a team in the Madrid office. So I will talk about the situation of City in the market, about our product, that uh, our family uh, product name is ElasticNet. Okay, we can divide the, the solution in three layers. The first layer is the cloud builder layer, and uh, it will be in charge of the uh, connection from the user or the access network uh, to the data center. We can say that uh, this layer uh, will will do the, the role of the traditional data center. Okay. We have the following layer, the cloud service layer, that will be composed by the uh, BNF, by the network elements that will be doing the, the service. And finally, we have the orchestration, orchestration and management that will be in charge of the operation and maintenance and scaling and all the features for, for the cloud. Well, the the data set, the builder layer, the data, the data center uh, layer, uh, we use a entity called virtual data center that uh, will be connected to the access layer, uh, doing some virtualization virtualization for uh, for access, for example, for uh, radio virtualization. Uh, it will work in the backhaul backhaul part, and also. Uh, the connection between the different virtual data center or inside a virtual data center between the different BNF. We have in the service uh, cloud layer, uh, we have different technologies. Uh, we have, for example, Unicore for, for the core uh, part, for the EPC or IMS. So we can divide between the two blocks. One is the ISDN that will be very based on SDN for uh, the user plane data, and uh, the other one for control plane for so we can uh, split a little bit the, the the traffic. Okay, um, this is the basic architecture in in blocks. Uh, is we call telecom cloud service architecture. Uh, we can divide in three layers. The common layer will be in charge of the uh, network functions like like load balance, uh, interface processing, or signal processing. Uh, we have also the application layer that is uh, the service logic, the, what is actually uh, doing the intelligence of the each node. And we have the data layer that uh, will be the cloud databases. We used to separate the cloud database even in different entity. So when we scale in, scale out, uh, we can just replicate the uh, the top layer, the network service. Uh, this this layer will replicate the database from from the uh, from the cloud, and this way we can make a very easy uh, scale in, scale out, and uh, uh, better reliable reliability. Okay, this is what I have just explained. Sorry, I'm very quick because we are in in a very short time. Uh, this is what I was commenting before about the uh, uni run solution about the. Um, provide an F NFB and SDN for access layer um, e for uh, for radio. We have, uh, in the traditional point of view, we have uh, many different technologies like uh, uh, Fento, RNC, uh, wireless access controller, inodbis, and we can provide a common uh, a common unit, a common service that will provide the backhaul for all of these services. Even more, in the uh, new coming 5G, or pre-5G, uh, we will have a, a radio network, but uh, the figure of the inodbis can be virtualized. Well, this is a block diagram of the our solution. We have uh, the the bottom part with the hardware, the infrastructure, the infrastructure. We have the cloud pl platform that could be well, it would be the hypervisor that could be CTE or VMware or uh, HP. Uh, we have the the node with the service layer that work we where we will we will be uh, uh, doing the the service and we have the orchest orchestration and, and management in the right side and the operation and management uh, even big data analysis in the top. Okay, this is a a quick view for the uh, for the operation. Uh, we we have a big data analysis for 
uh, for operation, for maintenance, uh, it will receive the alarms, the logs, the uh, KPI. So based on all of this information, we can improve the travel shooting and the status of the network, uh, doing some uh, algorithms in, the, in those data. We can even have a health uh, uh, tools that can even uh, prevent some failures in the future, like uh, uh, preventing doing some uh, uh, some task of uh, performing new uh, scaling and prevent some uh, some hardware uh, failures. Okay. Um, well, we were talking about the integration with different vendors, like. Uh, uh, Javier said in, in China, well, we have a, this is an, an uh, open standard platform, so we can uh, integrate different hardware or different uh, software. Um, finally, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about the, the, the roadmap. We, we have a very good uh, health right now. We have many, many projects. We have uh, many trials and um, probable new, new projects coming out. Uh, but the city is continue working on that. We have uh, increased in the number of uh, network elements that we are going to uh, to be able to to replicate using virtualization. Like in the top one, currently we have uh, a very strong uh, position in in core elements like MME, SGSN, GGSN, uh, HSS, HLR. Well, all the IMS. But we, in the following years, we are going to, to also integrate the MSCs, uh, media gateways, or uh, big uh, uh, firewall uh, functions. We also uh, move forward with the uh, operation and maintenance, integrating the SDN and the NFP uh, management, or uh, with the hardware. We have our own hardware that is in continuous evolution, and we, we also integrate the third party uh, vendor hardware. Well, um, that's all. This is uh, our product, what, uh, which uh, uh, we want to, to help operators to provide a, a good uh, uh, cost performance uh, ratio. Even for very small operators, they can be able to access to a very uh, powerful features. Uh, we will provide also a big reliability with not so many hardware redundancy on so on like before. Uh, we will provide also a flexible deployment, making very easy to add new services and uh, decreasing the time to market, um, a, a very good uh, operational maintenance, very easy, not so many technologies to learn, um, uh, easy to maintain. And as it is um, a standardized and uh, in integrated uh, solution, it will be easy to integrate uh, different uh, uh, hardware or solution. Okay. And I think I'm over time already. So thank you. <laughs> That's all.